So here's how you solve for a variable in an equation. Remember, an equation has an equal sign, just like this one on your screen. Y plus 13 equals 21. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to solve for what Y equals. Okay? And what we're going to do here, the main goal is to get this letter Y, or this variable Y, by itself on this side of the equation. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do over the equal sign is we're going to draw our railroad tracks. Okay, and that's these two lines with the uh, lines here with the equal sign. And the reason for that is because of our rule. If you do something on one side of the railroad tracks, you got to do something on the other side of the railroad tracks as well. So that means uh, we do the same thing to each side of the equation. Okay, so on this side with the variable, I have the variable y over here, and I have a plus 13 with it. So I'm only focusing on this side, y plus 13. So what I want to do is get this 13 out of there. So the way I can do that is I do the opposite of plus 13, or the inverse operation of plus 13. The inverse operation of plus is minus. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that 13 now by subtracting 13. So plus, plus 13 minus 13 would be nothing, and it's completely gone. Now the rule is if I do that on this side of the tracks, I got to do that on the other side of the tracks as well. So I got to do minus 13 on both sides. Okay? Now, on the left-hand side, those 13s would cancel each other out. They're gone. So plus 13 minus 13 is nothing. So I got to do the same thing on the other side, and I would have 21 minus 13 is 8. So then I've identified what y equals. y equals 8. So if I plug this into my equation now, so if I put 8 in here for y, I would have 8 plus 13 equals 21. If that's true, then you have the proper value for your variable. And it is true. 8 plus 13 does equal 21. All right, let's try another example here just so you can get the hang of this. Okay, here's my equation. 4 equals b minus 9. So the first thing we do is we put our railroad tracks down the equal sign so that we do the same thing on both sides. Now on the right hand side this time is our variable. It has a minus 9 next to it. So I need to do the opposite or the inverse operation. So if I have a minus 9, I'm going to do a plus 9. Now the rule is if I do that on one side, I've got to do the same thing on the other side. So I have to do plus 9 on both sides. Now that minus 9 and that plus 9 cancel each other out, so there's nothing there. Okay, so all that's left is my b, and that's what I want. Now on the other side, I take 4 plus the 9, and I get 13. So now all that's left is b equals 13. So I've identified what b is worth, 13, and if I put it into my original equation, I would have 13 minus 9, which is 4, and 4 would equal 4, so that would be correct.